Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we are going to look at the four latest Arsenal news. The first Arsenal news is that Daily Mail has confirmed an Arsenal update, as he confirms Arsenal still have chance to land Dream Duo as Chelsea not close to signing top target, as Arsenal look to complete the signing of World Cup Ecuador International and Brighton and Hove Albion midfielder Moises Caicedo. Arsenal still have the opportunity to build Mikel Arteta's dream midfield this summer by acquiring the services of Moises Caicedo from Brighton. The Ecuador international looked destined to join Chelsea this summer, though negotiations are not close with the Stamford Bridge outfit. Following their impressive 2022-23 campaign, Arteta made it clear that he wanted to continue strengthening his squad in order to close the gap on Manchester City. The Spaniard prioritised a rebuild in midfield, allowing Granit Jucker to leave and putting several players in the shop window, Thomas Partey is among those who could depart, with Saudi clubs circling in hope of landing the Ghana international. Thus, Arsenal could add another top-quality player to their midfield ranks, with Caicedo still admired, earlier this summer, Arteta intended on signing both the Brighton star and Declan Rice but the finances involved became a deterrent and they prioritised the latter, who recently arrived for £105 million. Though there is every chance that the Gunners could sign the dream duo because the Daily Mail report that Chelsea are not close to matching the Seagulls' £100 million asking price for Caicedo, the Blues have been locked in negotiations with Brighton for weeks, though Mauricio Pochettino's side appear reluctant to welcome another £100 million signing given that they forked out a similar fee for Enzo Fernandez in January. The Seagulls are adamant that they will not accept a lesser figure for their number 25 and are now including Caicedo in their preseason plans, with their squad set to leave for the US on Monday. Similarly, Arsenal are not expected to allow Partey to leave cheaply, with some reports speculating that they will demand at least £30 million for the services of the ex-Atletico Madrid star. A figure in that region would go a long way to securing Caicedo if the Gunners do return to the race though they may need to repair their fractured relationship with Brighton if they are to strike a deal, a midfield trio of Rice, Caicedo, and Martin Odegaard would largely be regarded as one of the best midfields in Europe, and the Emirates Stadium outfit will feel that the three is the perfect foundation for success in both the short and long term. The second Arsenal news is that Dean Jones has confirmed an Arsenal update, as he confirms Arsenal could still move to sign £60 million player this summer, he's expected to leave, as Arsenal look to complete the signing of World Cup Ecuador international and Manchester City star Joao Cancelo, journalist Dean Jones has suggested that Arsenal could still move to sign Manchester City star Joao Cancelo this summer. Jones has been speaking to Give Me Sport about Cancelo's future and claimed the fullback. Is still expected to leave the Etihad Stadium over the coming weeks, Arsenal have enjoyed a brilliant start to the summer transfer window as they've already moved to snap up Kai Havertz, Declan Rice and Jurian Timber. The Gunners have spent heavily so far as they bid to bolster Mikel Arteta's squad ahead of the new season, it remains unclear whether Arsenal will continue to strengthen their squad before the window closes, but they have been heavily linked with a move for Joao Cancelo. Indeed, German outlet Kicker claimed earlier this month that Arsenal have Cancelo at the top of their wish list. And Jones has suggested that Arsenal could still move for Cancelo later in the summer, with the club viewing him as a luxury signing, speaking to Give Me Sport, Jones claimed that Cancelo is still expected to leave City this summer after spending the second half of the last campaign at Bayern Munich. The journalist also refused to rule out Arsenal moving for him, despite the deal being very quiet of late, Cancelo's circumstances are strange right now. You would think that if he returns to City now with the right application and focus he could easily become part of the setup again, Jones said. But what we also know is that Guardiola has moved away from the model that Cancelo used to thrive in and further than that, seems content with the idea he doesn't stay. The big question is, where will he go? Barcelona are primed if it is cheap enough or on loan so if there is to be something soon, it's probably that. Arsenal has been touted and that case has been very quiet for now, but it may not stay that way. My information is that if Cancelo is still there for the taking later in the window, Arsenal may well look to strike a deal. It's not been totally forgotten about, it's just not a main priority. More of a luxury.
The third Arsenal news is that Express has confirmed an Arsenal update, as he confirms Arsenal eyeing another Ilkay Gundogan as Mikel Arteta finalises his new look 11, as Arsenal look to complete the signing of Spain international and Celta Vigo midfielder Gabri Vega. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta has accomplished many of his transfer goals already this summer, with just under a month to go until the start of the 2023-24 season. However, the Gunners' recent transfer activity suggests that there remains a vacancy to be filled, with an alternative yet to be sought out after Ilkay Gundogan slipped through the net, with Granit Xhaka leaving the Emirates Stadium and Thomas Partey threatening to follow suit. Midfield recruitment was always likely to be a high priority. Arteta landed his dream signing in Declan Rice this week after thrashing out a £105 million deal with West Ham, Jurian Timber has been signed to beef up the back line, while interest in Mason Mount came and went before the Gunners swooped for Kai Havertz instead. But the Londoners are yet to scout out an alternative for Gundogan since the Manchester City treble winner signed for Barcelona last month, Arteta's interest in Gundogan suggests that he wants a crafty midfielder in and around the box, and one capable of finding the net with regularity, although Rice is a major signing, he doesn't fit that brief with just 15 goals in 245 first-team matches during his time with the Hammers. Questions therefore remain over who Arteta will swoop for to complete a refreshed 11 that may contain Timber, Havertz and Rice on the first day of next campaign, one option is Garbri Vega. The 21-year-old shone for Celta Vigo last season with 11 La Liga goals, including two in a final day win over Barcelona, and he has been widely tipped to test his talents in a new environment. The Gunners are reportedly joined by Tottenham, Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain in tracking Vega who could set suitors back £34 million this summer. Elsewhere, although unable to match the numbers put up by Vega, or indeed Gundogan, Arsenal fans could be forgiven for getting excited about the prospect of signing Brazilian midfielder Botello. The final Arsenal news is that Domesh Sheth has confirmed an Arsenal update, as he confirms keep eye on winger signing amid links to £69 million star at the Emirates, as Arsenal look to complete the signing of France international and Bayer Leverkusen winger Moussa Diaby, Arsenal are keeping an eye on bringing someone in on the right-sided attacking area, Sky Sports reporter Domesh Sheth has told GiveMeSport. Declan Rice and Kai Havertz have recently made the switch to North London, but now, Chef believes a fresh right winger could also be on their way. Although Arsenal have Bukayo Saka to occupy that spot for years to come, the club's return to Champions League and midweek action as a result, the need for squad depth has never been higher. However, the blistering youngster is the only natural attacker in their ranks and will need to strengthen that area before the 2023-24 season commences. The London-born starlet featured in two FA Cup games, eight in the Europa League, while he featured in all 38 domestic fixtures with just one appearance coming from the bench. A new signing in this position would allow the Spaniard the luxury of giving soccer a much-needed break on the occasion, speaking exclusively to Give Me Sport, Chef. Claimed that the right-wing position has been in need of reinforcements for some time now, and they may have their eye on their ideal coup, he said, I just think keep an eye on the right-sided attacking area because it's been a position they've wanted to strengthen in the last three transfer window. And they really haven't managed to do that. I just wonder whether if they can get enough money from the recouping of the sales, who knows, they might have an eye on bringing someone in that position. It has often been Bayer Leverkusen ace Moussa Diaby who has often found himself subject to the Arsenal links, though no formal offer has been lodged. Florian Plettenberg has claimed that although he is a key player for Zabai Alonso, Arsenal could join the likes of Newcastle United and Manchester United in the race for his signature, which would cost in the region of £69 million. Do you know the Arsenal news on Moises Caicedo? You will enjoy this video on your screen too.